Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Simo and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading the new minivan. Well, it's not necessarily new, but the upgrades are new. So we're going to be taking it to Benny's workshop. I'm going to be showing you guys all of the customizations possible for this vehicle. As you can see, it's literally bog standard right now. So we're going to take it into Benny's and I'm going to be showing you all the prices because I know a lot of you guys won't be able to afford this DLC because some of these DLC prices are absolutely ridiculous. Nevertheless, that's what I'm here for guys. But if you do go ahead and enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already for all the latest GTA 5 information. So let's get straight into this. So we're in Benny's right now and we want to go ahead and upgrade the vehicle. So to go and up upgrade it, it's actually cheaper than I thought. It's $330,000. So that's not too bad, but you want to be able to see what we can do with the customization. So we'll go ahead and upgrade it straight away. So there we can see it's definitely had a change already, but we haven't done anything to it. So straight away, we're going to go ahead and add the arm upgrade. But I know you guys won't want to see this, but we'll just go down individually to see what they offer. So we've got stock brakes, street brakes. Obviously, we're going to go with the race brakes. Engine. Okay, so this is where stuff gets interesting. So what actually looks nicer in this, because as you can see, they don't affect any of the stats. It's just all down to what you want, really, personal preferences. So V8 painted covers, ribbed covers, chrome covers, or ribbed chrome covers. Um, I'm kind of digging this one, the chrome rib covers. I'm not too sure. I mean, the other chrome ones, not. I don't like the red because it doesn't look that customizable. So it's definitely between a chrome and I think we're going to go with the rib one. So air filters, what we've got for air filters. Okay, so we've got the chrome air filter, the twin or the sweatback. Now, I normally have the sweatback on most of my cars upgraded by Benny's, but for some reason, I'm kind of digging the first one, the chrome air filter. I don't kind of like the twin one. I do like that one, but I fancy a change. So we're going to be going with the chrome air filter. Okay, engine tune. So we'll just go ahead and quickly do that to EMS upgrade level 4. So we'll go ahead and do that straight away and we'll move on. So exhaust, we can either have the stock or the dual. We're obviously going to go with the dual because we want an upgrade. Uh, explosives we don't need. The grill, that actually makes the vehicle look really nice at the front. I'm not going to lie. So we'll have the bling grill. The horn, I guess it doesn't really matter. We can just loop it on the San Andreas loop, I guess. So we'll leave that as that. The hydraulics, obviously, this is the important thing. And to, to make it sensible, we'll have the best hydraulics, I think, as well. Yeah, they probably do look the best either way. Interior. So this is where it gets interesting. So now we've got the interior of a, well, a four-door car, which is very interesting. Because I don't, I don't normally tune up a lot of four-door cars. So let's see what we can do. So... Trim design, so what have we got, okay. I like the little speakers on there as well, the speakers are cool. Ooh. Right, I'm a oh, this one looks really nice. Okay, the speakers are gone from the top, but now we've got a mega-ass radio. And some a massive, have I got one this side? Probably, but I can't see it. So we're going to go with this one, and the trim colour. Now, normally, I like my interiors to be black, so... We'll look through them though, but I think black might be the option. Red's pretty bright. Wine red's alright, I guess. Yellow's a bit bright as well for an interior. Yeah, I think we're going to go with black with that one. I mean, they look, they look alright, but I think black looks alright too. So, ornaments. So, I want to kind of make this car look a little bit evil if we can. So, um, I guess we could go with the, the straight up... Grim Reaper, I guess, or we could have the sort of like skull, but I think the uh, the Grim Reaper bobblehead definitely gives it the vibe. So, what we got for dials? Now this, oh, okay, some nice ones here. Oh, there is some nice ones. I wasn't expecting. I like the skull face. I like it a lot. I'm not too sure if I want it black again though. I mean, the white one's quite nice. I, I think I'm gonna go with the white one. Because everything else seems to be black at the minute, so it'll be nice to have a little bit of white in the car to um, just mix it up a bit. So, doors. Oh, here we go, boys. Do we want a two speakers, three speakers, five speakers, a gazillion speakers? Yeah, there's the gazillion. Um, now, personally, I think that looks a little bit ugly. So, I'm just going to go with the advanced doors. I, I don't know about that. But again, then again, it's tuned up. Should we go for it? Let's, let's just go for it. We'll, we'll see how amazing we can look at this. It, 
custom leather seats. Okay, that definitely is a nice upgrade. They've turned from like standard sort of like, I, I guess the kind of leather seats, but these have now gone to black and orange, so I do like that a lot. The steering wheel. Okay, so we've got any new steering wheels? I kind of like the chain one, but that might not be suitable for this vehicle. I normally go for the chain one. What I liked just a minute ago is this wooden one, one I'm about to show you now. Whereas this one, the got wood. I kind of like that. It's got a little bit of gold in plate on it as well, which sort of like suggests richness, which I am, as you can see in the top right corner. But nevertheless, that does look quite nice. So we'll have the got wood. Now, what can we have is like the handbrake thing. I'm pretty sure it's the handbrake anyway. Now, we could have the school. We could go. We could keep continue the evil theme. We could have the school with a top hat, or the army hat, or the crown, the microphone. I don't think we need the microphone. Oh, that's quite nice, the six shooter. Because then we've got sort of like all evilness, isn't we? We've got the school, like the Grim Reaper, then we've got the, the six shooter. I like that. So we'll go with the six shooter. The plaques. Hmm. Now this one could be quite tricky. I don't really I, I don't really bother with these much in the back, but I guess we want a nice bright one. And I might just go for the San Andreas one, because that's what we know is sort of like a crooked place. So we'll go with San Andreas Neon. I'm kind of liking that, but we'll have a quick through. Yeah, we'll go with the San Andreas one. Light colour. Now this is a chance for me really to personalise the car. Now like I said, I was digging the white theme, so I might go with the frost white, and I did think that looked really nice as well. Sometimes red can look really nice. But I don't think red actually suits this vehicle as of now because I haven't customised it to actually be the same colour as red. So I'm going to go with frost white. I'm liking the frost white. And then we're sort of done for the interior. So obviously we're going to upgrade to the xenon lights. And the neon kits, we're just going to go straight out, front, back and sides. And we're going to go and have that as either yellow. I'm, I'm still digging red, but obviously I'm going to change the colour of the car in just a second. So we'll go with red again. And uh, this is the chance to make your car look nice as well. Now that looks quite nice. The pure geometry. Guess the fire looks nice as well. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. Die hard. Okay, that looks nice. What a... I'm pretty sure we're going to have to be going with the die hard, guys. Pretty sure we're going with the die hard. That looks really nice. And it's still the red theme as well. Still the red theme. Okay, so plate holder. Um, I don't really bother. I guess we can go with the skull again. The Davy Jones. So we'll go with that. Um, I guess we could have a black gold Lenny's one at the front. Uh, better, better Lenny's one, I'm saying. Ben is. Um, unless there's anything different. Yeah, I think the black and gold one goes really nice. So we'll have that. Uh, respray. I'm not actually going to respray it now unless... Um, no, I don't think we really need to respray it anymore. Okay, so we can add... I kind of like the chrome roof tracks. I don't sort of like the rails, so we'll go with the tracks. We don't want to sell it. Spoiler. It doesn't actually look that bad with a spoiler, you know. So I'll go with the spoiler. The transmission will just go all out. The trunk. Okay, no, okay, this is where we get the base boosting. Now that actually looks quite nice. The premium wall of sound. So does that. I like the... Uh, okay, that's that's got him in my fine lance. I like the white outline on it. The white outline really does make it look nice. So we'll go with maximum turbo. Wheels, wheel type. So we could check the... I don't... Let's go for the... Let's look through these ones first. So, I'm not sure if I want a gold one anymore, because I don't know if it'll fit. Actually, I think gold does fit with this car really nice, actually. But in terms of what, I mean, I guess they look alright as well. I'm definitely feeling the gold vibe right now. I mean, the money one looks alright, I guess, but I don't know. Okay, they look nice. Gold Mighty Star, we'll have them. We'll go with them. Wheel colour. Uh, I think we'll stick with black. I mean, Midnight Purple looks alright as well. I mean, that looks a, a darker black than what we've got in the game. But we'll have a, a look through some of them. I mean, again, so you can make this car look really nice, but some of the colours don't suit the theme I've gone with. But other than that, it's pretty sick. 
So tires, tire design. Oh, okay. It's quite interesting. I'm gonna guess we could go with a red lion theme again. Yeah, we'll go with a red lion theme again. Tire enhancements obviously we want bulletproof. And tire smoke. I guess again we could stick with a the red theme. Windows definitely gotta be all blacked out limo. And that's it. This car actually looks really beast. So let's go ahead and take it into daylight. And it probably, yeah, it won't be daylight. But this will look mean as fuck at night. Not even kidding. Boys, look at this. Oh. This looks absolutely amazing. And it actually feels brilliant to drive as well. Let's have a look in first person. There we go. But we've got all the freaking speakers everywhere. We've got the little glowing. He looks like he's glowing, Grim Reaper. And we've got the nice frost white dials as well. So if I just pull over up here, I'll be able to open all the doors for you and get a good view in first person to what this actually looks like. So hopefully you guys like the choices I made. Uh, vehicle remote, what am I doing? Vehicle doors, or oh. there we go. So just to recap, we've obviously had a massive respray. We've added a new plate at the beginning. We've added a brand new V8 sort of like engine. We've added the twin, uh, no, we've added the single rather than the twin. Uh, we've changed the wheels, obviously we've changed all the interior. I'm really liking the orange and black leather seats with the white stitching as well. And of course we've just got all these badass speakers to top it off. I mean we've got it everywhere and we've got the big ass radio system right there on the dashboard as well. Obviously in the back we've got even more banging beats. So we're going to be going down Grove Street 200 miles and we probably won't go 200 miles an hour. But we'll be playing some amazing tunes in this bad boy. And of course as well, what I like about this is it's got the slide opening door as well. That's really nice. Not a lot of vehicles have them in GTA and it's something quite unique I think as well. But of course as well, the last thing we want to check is the hydraulic. So I'll go ahead and get in my vehicle. Just quickly get out of first person. Boost up. There we go. So overall guys, I think this is a pretty nice update. I do like the customizations that you can do with this vehicle. But anyway guys, if you did go ahead and enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for all the latest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. But guys, with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.